Hi, I'm Anthony Taro, chef and co-owner of Sienna Restaurant in Providence, Rhode Island. Today I'm going to be making uh, one of those old school dishes, a handmade Jamelli pasta. We're going to begin to make our, our pasta. And what I'm doing is I'm taking two cups of triple X flour. And that flour is just uh, more densely milled, a finer uh, texture to it. We're going to add one whole egg, a touch of olive oil, and a pinch of salt. And we're going to begin to incorporate the flour slowly into the egg. And then once you feel like a lot of the flour is beginning to incorporate itself, then I'm going to take with my hands a little bit. We're also going to take a little bit of room temperature water. And I want to add the water a little bit at a time just because I don't want to add so much water that the pasta becomes too wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to then take it and we're going to transfer that dough. And it should look very mealy at this point. We're going to transfer it onto a table or a bench or a cutting board. Take the dough, any of these loose bits you can add right into the center. And I'm doing half a turn or a quarter turn, pressing down and kneading with the palm of my hand. And the dough should have some moisture to it at this point. You don't want it to be too dry nor too wet. And we're going to continue to knead this for approximately five to eight minutes. Okay, so we've been at this for about eight minutes. Now you can see that really nice smooth texture to the dough. It has some great heat to it because we've been kneading it for that long. So I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to reintroduce it to my original mixing bowl and I'm going to take a nice damp cloth and I'm going to cover that and I'm going to allow that to sit for at least an hour. Okay, it's been about an hour since we've had our dough resting here and it should be nice and pliable, still holding some of its heat. What we're going to do is we're going to just take it, we're going to Put a little bit of bench flour down, not too much, a little bit on top. And try to work it out with the hand as much as you can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the dough in half. Now I'm going to take a nice rolling pin and I'm going to begin to roll the dough out and try to get into a shape that's somewhat rectangular. Once we have the dough at about an eighth of an inch thick, I'm going to try to take some of that excess flour off of the dough. So what you want to do now is you want to come and cut about quarter inch strips. And this is the type of pasta that it's nice to have a little helper with you. Take each individual strand and we're going to go and just roll it a little bit. We are then going to fold it in half. One hand goes one way and the other hand goes the other way until you get this nice tight screw shape. Okay, now once we've had all of our strands rolled out, what we want to do is take a little bit of semolina flour. We don't want to use regular flour here, but just a little semolina. We're going to line up our gemelli. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take and cut these about one and a half inches long. And it's okay for those pieces at the end. And this is a very fast pasta. You want to just bring it over to your hot boiling water. I do not add oil and I don't add salt to it. Um, and you're just going to gently drop those in. And this is just a great hearty pasta to go with this nice wintry type of braised meat in the brajol. And we're just going to boil it until all of the gemelli are floating. And pour my gemelli right into my sauce. Give my gemelli a little bit of a stir. And I don't want to use all the sauce on the plate because I want to leave a little bit to top off at the end. I'll arrange our brajol on top. And there you have beef brajol with fresh gemelli pasta.